Good morning, good evening, good night. It's your boy, Evolutionary Knight. Another video. Going after the, the, the elusive vision stone, right? So, hearing a lot about it. Gildy's talking about it. You know, uh, very potent uh, vision stone here. Very potent prototype. Uh, so, right into it. We're going to do some... Uh, some terra dome and see if we can get it to drop see if we can get one in there i figured i'd take you guys along for the ride we got 89 uh pools here though so let's see how we do right into it there all right so if you watched any of my videos before this is my team we got uh create bailey serena healing uh hattie and my taylor i just maxed my taylor out uh so he's fully fully uh maxed out immortal or whatever you want to call it. So we'll jump Taylor inside. Uh, if you're looking for a non triple S team, I created a non triple S team as well. I did it. I think I got it up to 13 uh, with the Sinway. Um, with, with Sinway going on, uh, the Sinway uh, Rise of Heroes, I'm going to max Sinway out. And he he was my major one of my major characters in this because you can jump his uh, summon into the blue ring. So definitely, definitely worth investing in. So we're going to burn through this guy here. I, I wonder what the drop rate is on the vision stone. Uh, has to be insane because this is, I, I finally got my first one. Uh, Odyssey gamer, which is in my guild actually said that he had to go through one K stamina to max it out. That's, that's insane. One K stamina to max out the stone. Hopefully my luck is a little more better. But we'll see as the run goes. Um, I think that's going to become my focus. Uh, my my worries is there was talks that it may get uh, removed from the game. So I think it's going to become my focus um, with the stamina supplements I get daily. Hopefully it's, if they do, they, they just drop it. They, they stop it from dropping, but allow it to still um, go in there for the what's the name. But we'll see. All right, first run. No good. Let's go. Second run. I'm hoping for two drops. <laughs> Keep my fingers crossed. Get two of them drops. I'll be happy. Uh, I was looking at the different combinations, maybe like Twilight uh, times three hunters plus the Vision Stone. How much damage could actually be put out? Be pretty interesting to see how that plays out and how that would do. Uh, team pretty much goes through this uh, pretty quickly. Uh, as I'm building, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know that this would become. I, and there's people that already do this in like seconds, twelve seconds, thirty seconds. Uh, so I, you know, once my account gets that high, I'll be pretty happy. Uh, I was debating on going in for Leo, but I kind of pulled back. I got a, I got a little bit of time, so I'll let more people play with him. Uh, right now, you know, trying to keep up with uh, everybody on the server. I'm still in the top five for PvP, so I'm pretty sure I'm confident I'll probably end in third. So I'm not too much worried about, uh, and I know he's excellent in PVP from what I'm being told. So uh, as long as I end up in the top three to five, I'm, I'm pretty happy. As long as I maintain that on the server overall, I'm pretty happy. So I'm, I'm pretty happy where my account is right now. Uh, I end up joining uh, Exquisite Guild, a lot of solid players. Uh, a lot of information, uh, you know, these, these people, they're, they're pretty much on top of it. So uh, much uh, big shout out to them. Much appreciate appreciation for allowing me in there. And, uh, all right. So no drop there. Shoot for it again. See how we do. We did get a pain room, but I, I don't need a pain room at this time. I'm hoping that they incorporate like um, a, a smelting process like they did in the, with the gear. That'd be pretty cool with, um, if they add a smelting with uh, prototypes, you know, 
Uh, it's got to be the proto same, prototype of the same class. And if you get five of them or whatever, you can smell it down and get one of that class. I think that would be pretty fair. Uh, because at, at this moment, there's really nothing you can do with them, but admire them in your bag, you know? So some kind of smelting process would be interesting. Uh, or you can get three, four, you know, three of them could equal uh, one other different type of prototype or five of them can equal one different type of prototype, but I think will be pretty cool. But I'm interested to see how they're going to um, reply to the community because I'm pretty sure the community is going, going to at some point say, hey, you know, we need something to do with our, all these extra prototypes because as as you go and you get these prototypes, I mean, you're just stacking them, stacking them. Uh, at some point, you're going to be, you know, you're going to max out on all these prototypes. So it'll be pretty interesting to see how that plays out and what, what else they're going to do to this game. They're already adding characters into it. Uh, so that's nice. I think the content is where it needs to be. For an idle gamer, it keeps you, you, you have a lot to do. So you, when, when you come into the game, you can either be fully invested and, and knock everything out or you can sit around and just um, play around with different uh, types of teams and strategies trying to get through uh, soul mines or the chapter. So it's pretty interesting what they did to this game. And, and I, I like how the like soul mines and the chapters uh, don't cost any energy because uh, basically that keeps you in the game. It keeps you wanting to play. It keeps you um, intrigued on trying new things. So I like it. I, I think this game is, is very uh very generous to its uh, community, in my opinion. So after playing raid, you know you're you're constantly fighting the energy, fighting for energy, and, <laughs> you know, and raid is a full time investment, man. Full time investment. Um, maybe as they add more characters, you know, things are pan out. But still, you you can come in the game and just sit and you can spend an hour hour and a half before you even know it two hours trying to mess around in different areas trying different uh combinations techniques uh trying to find synergy with the prototypes the characters um uh, it, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun so far and for as you know as uh new the game is you know it, it has a decent amount of content and they're just going to keep building on it so I'm pretty happy. You know, one of the concerns, of course, always is games like this shutting down because you see a lot of games shut down. Um, but I, I think they they've picked up a, a strong fan base and a decent amount of wells and a decent amount of people investing in this game that I think it'll stay up. I don't think it's going to be a cash grab. It, it looks like it's here for the long haul. So that's always nice. All right, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing. See if we can get them down. Get them down, get them down, get them down. Come on, Vision Stone. Show me some love, baby. Show me some love. Man, I need to get a stronger, faster team, right? I looked at more AOE. Ooh, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's funny, my guildmates were talking about it. I've never, I didn't even hear the Vision Stone until uh, tonight. And um, my, one of my guildmates mentioned it, uh, Hydro. And I said, man, let me go, a Vision Stone, I never heard no shit like that, you know? So I jumped in here. And the first run, man, if I put up 10 and I got it. <laughs> so try to boost it and see if we can get our hands on it. And then, you know, they were saying that it may be, uh, end up becoming, uh, taking out the game, which, you know, if they take it out the game, that would suck, I guess, at this point. But I'm hoping they make it so it doesn't drop anymore rather than take it out the game. That would be pretty nice since I have it already. <laughs> but you, you get those, you get in those uh, games like this, the gotcha games where, uh, you know, different type of skins, different type of characters are released at certain periods of time, like Christmas or Halloween. And if you missed it, you know, if you didn't start off in the game and you missed it, then you got to wait a whole nother year to get it or you may not get it at all. You know, that's what it's interesting. And it, it, um, 
it benefits the the loyalty of the player base. You know, if you're going to stick it out and, and be part of the community, and, and and you know do those things, then you should be rewarded, in my opinion. You know, those type of uh, events. You're the one investing in the game and keeping the game alive. So why not? We'll move Taylor out of the way so he don't get one shot at. Thinking about redoing my uh, Hattie. Uh, I, someone mentioned about crit and stuff. I, I, I went very, very attack heavy because the skills provide a lot of crit. So I'm thinking about revamping him as well. Uh, seeing if I can get some more damage out of him. Right now, Bailey is uh, king, you know, when it comes to progressing the account and everything else. I, mean, I rely heavy on Bailey just about in every aspect of the game. PVE, PVP, uh, events. Bosses, you name it, and Bailey's got it. So, um, if you're going to invest in the game, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you invest in Bailey. He is definitely an account changer. Well worth the investment. All right, so back in there. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Show me some love. Come spend some time with me. Uh, if you have the Vision Stone, man, tell me about it. Tell me how you use it or tell me what teams that you think it pairs with and uh, or the synergy it goes with. You know, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's a very, very, very interesting prototype, man, so especially with the, the amount of combinations that you can put with it, with the different hunters because a lot of the hunters are very, very powerful. You know, you got Emma, um, especially Taylor, Taylor and Emma. You know, that's going to be a staple in a lot of people's accounts so that uh, stone would be very, you know, vital to them. Help them out a lot on that prototype. All right, let's get these bombs down. Now, if you're still here with me, like and subscribe, man. Show me some love. You know, I figured I was going to shoot for this. Why not bring you all along with me? You know, do a quick video. I'll let you guys see it. See how we're going here. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to put together a faster team. Become more efficient. We're gonna move him out the way. Like in raid, man, you'll get to a point where you're farming, you know, different instances, different things in like nine seconds, you know. So the, the stronger you make the team, the synergy, the more efficient the team, the faster you get through the content. You know, the quicker you get in and out the game. So those are definitely the goals as we progress this account. That's a no-go there. All right, 10 more. See where we're at and what we're doing. All right, back at it. Let's go. All right, jumping into the blue circle. Go ahead and attack and get it done. Trying to get them down. See, Bailey's just putting out all the damage for me here. Uh, Taylor kind of ramps up once he gets into the circle. Heels going out. You know, after the after the uh, transition phase, when he comes back into the circle, it's weird. You know, your characters <laughs> all get bunched up, and he has the opportunity just to knock them all out. It, as you can see, it's great that I can jump Taylor out of the way, uh, so Taylor doesn't end up killed. So keep that in mind when you're doing your runs. You know, uh, have that Taylor. You have Taylor on auto, obviously, but make sure you jump him out of the uh, group. When they bunch up like that, so he doesn't end up getting one shot, and he can he can basically carry you the rest of the way once that's done. So those are the things that you want to look at. As you see there, right, jump him out of the circle, out of the grouping up there, and your healer and your tank normally will not die anyway. So if they do get put, if he do puts him to bed. Uh, 
you can still get through and get it done. All right, what we got there? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, that coronet. I almost smiled when I seen it. It looks like the stone. So we got two more, two more runs. All right, two more runs. Two more runs. Let's see how we do here. All right, so pushing damage through. Boom, big hit. Throw Taylor into the mix. Try to put him at that angle so once he throws up his cone, once you do it enough times, you'll actually get so accustomed to it, you'll know exactly where to push him. You see right I threw him, he's right outside the cone, so he's not going to take any damage at all. So I, I put him right there so that way he doesn't take any damage and we're good to go. So now putting him down. Could also throw in Maserani and uh, have Maserani uh, boost the damage, but uh, it's really not needed. So if I was having trouble, maybe I'd swap out Maserani, throw Maserani in there, and uh, so we can get some damage from out the back. All right. Sweeping through the bombs. Come on, gang. Give me one more. Show me some love here. All right. We'll move Taylor from in front of him. We'll move him to the side here. Get him out the way. Big damage. Big damage. Burn him down. And he is gone. What we got here? Give me the stone. Oof. No good there. No good there. All right. Last one. Hopefully we get some luck going here. All right. Cross your fingers. Cross your toes. If you're religious, throw a prayer out there for me. Throw him in there, get him in. All right, damage is being done. Let me know you guys' uh, Terradome combinations. Let me know, uh, you know, leave me a comment. Show, tell me what your combinations are. And let me know how fast you're getting 15 done. This is, right now, this is my slowest um, dungeon that I'm doing. I don't have a lot of melee characters. I think that's the problem. You know, a lot of my teams are uh, range specific and a lot of my teams are uh, all synergized with Bailey. So, you know, I got Hattie and Maserani uh, with Haley, with, uh, excuse me, with uh, Bailey in the back line. So they're all buffing Bailey. So my teams all revolve around Bailey because Bailey's the one progress in my account along with Crate, Crate and Bailey with damage tank uh, and, you know, Craig does amazing damage when uh, in situations when everything is boosted and things like that. So definitely, definitely, definitely uh, take advantage of that. All right, we're going to slide them out. And now we're going to work on bringing them down. Like I said, you got to jump them out of the pit there. Ooh, <laughs> no luck. All right. So there you have it. We jumped out of 89, 89 different uh, matches there, 89 attempts. Let's see if we got it. We got, got some new stuff, upgraded some stuff. This right here is the Vision Stone. That's the one we want to boost up. Ally Energy and Hunter. Hero shall inflict 12% more damage. I think it boosts up to 36 you know, that's a beefy, 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 beefy uh, prototype. So we're going after. Well, that's it. Like, subscribe, show me some love. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Peace.